If I play this. What palo do you think this is? Hi, this is Guillermo Guillen for Flamenco Maps. Welcome to my channel. Whether you dance flamenco, you sing flamenco, you play guitar, you play palmas, you play cajon, or you just love it and you want to understand how it works, today we'll talk about something we never talk about, but we should. So what palo do you think I was playing? Was it tango? Was it bulería? Or did you say, I don't know? If you said, I don't know, that was the correct answer. Why? Whatever you do, you dance, you play, you sing, rhythmically speaking, it happens in a specific rhythmic context, in a specific compass. When I play that phrase in the intro of the video, I didn't give you enough rhythmic information for you to be able to deduce any rhythmic context. It could have been different things, different compasses, different palos. It means that if you take a rhythmic phrase out of context, like what I did, it can be interpreted in different ways and it can also be misunderstood or just not understood at all. In this video, I will explain how it works, I will practice with you and I'll tell you why it's so important to understand this, so you better stick around till the end. Let's break down a little bit what I play. But attention here, I'm talking about guitar, but this is not exclusively for guitarists, okay? I'm talking about rhythm in general. This is helpful whatever you do. I played a very simple basic falsetta consisting of three phrases. And actually the first and the second phrases are same. I just repeated the first phrase twice. First one. Second one. of the first and the second one. Here we are just going to learn how to rhythmically sing the first phrase. Once you understand how it works, you can do the whole falsetta yourself. So this phrase, slowly, is built from a very simple rhythmic cell that you already know, ticota. And you know that in my system, many times, ticota is one red Lego. Ticota. The interest of legalizing the ticota is to understand the articulation, the accentuation, what I call the phrasing. On the ticota lego, we always have an accent, a stress on T. Ticota, 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 ticota. If I don't put the accent, I might as well say taka, 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 or ta, 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 or po, 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 po. It wouldn't change anything. So remember, phrasing. Ticota, ticota, ticota. And this is where it is very important. A ticota, a lego, doesn't give any information about the context, about the compass, about the tempo. It doesn't say anything about the subdivisions, about the flow rate, about the grid. All these elements I talked about in the previous videos of this series. A ticota is just a rhythmic cell of three notes that go together. That's all. The whole phrase is just four times Ticota for Legos, and then we finish with the last ta to complete. Ticota, 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 ta. Easy, right? So if I play this sequence with the guitar very slowly, I'm sure that now you can feel the four different Legos and the last ta. Let's see how we can use this phrase in different rhythmic contexts. The most basic way to use a ticota is just one lego per beat, with the T being the beat. So we have three notes per beat, ternary subdivisions. Ticota, 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 ta. In this context, this phrase fits between five beats, right? It means that the phrase can cover one full compass of Tango, going from beat number one till the next beat number one. Let's use El Tito now, 120 BPM, four beats. 
you can also use your fingers to count the compass. You can check that video if you don't know what I'm talking about. Un, dos, tres, cuatro. Un, dos, tres, cuatro. Tico ta, tico ta, tico ta, tico ta, ta. Tico ta, tico ta, tico ta, tico ta, ta. Tico ta, tico ta, tico ta, tico ta, ta. With palmas now. Un, dos, tres. Un, dos, tres. Tico ta, tico ta, tico ta, tico ta, ta. Tico ta, tico ta, tico ta, tico ta, ta. Tico ta, tico ta, tico ta, tico ta, ta. Tico ta, tico ta, tico ta, tico ta, ta. Falsetta por tango, on which you can easily create footsteps now, right? Tico ta, tico ta, tico ta, tico ta, ta. Tico ta, tico ta, tico ta, tico ta, ta. Another possibility is to use our tico ta, but this time with binary subdivisions, two notes per beat. So here we have a rhythm shift, and I already talked about that in that video. That is to say that all the T's don't fall on beats, but only every three beats, this way. Tico ta, tico ta, ti. Tico ta, tico ta, ti. On the first beat we have ti, on the second beat we have ta, and on the third beat we have ko. Tico ta, tico ta, ta. Here, more important than ever, keep the phrasing, the accent on ti. Tico ta, tico ta. In this context, the phrase fits in between seven beats. It means that it covers one medio compás por burería, six beats going from one tierra till the next tierra. The tierra is the big accent at the beginning of each medio compás de burería. I explain this in this video. Six beat cycle, 180 BPM. Tierra. Tico ta, tico ta, tico ta, tico ta, ta. Phrasing. Falsetta por burería, on which you can create footwork, footsteps por burería. There are potentially endless possibilities, but here I'm explaining the simplest and the most common ones. A third option is to keep the binary subdivisions, but doubling the flow rate. So now we don't have two notes per beat anymore, but four notes per beat with a rhythm shift. Tico ta, tico ta, tico ta, tico ta, ta. Tico ta, tico ta, tico ta, tico ta, ta. In this context, the phrase fits between four beats. All one compass de fandango abandolao, going from beat one till the next beat one. For this one, we'll use el tito in a three beat cycle at 90 BPM. One, two, three. Tico ta, tico ta, tico ta, tico ta, ta. Phrasing. Tico ta, tico ta, tico ta, tico ta, ta. Tico ta, tico ta, tico ta, tico ta, ta. Two, three. Tico ta, tico ta, tico ta, tico ta, ta. to adapt to abandolao, but it's the same. We have a simple basic falsetta por abandolao, on which you can easily create footstep por abandolao. Por tango, el tito was at 120 BPM. Por bureria, 180 BPM. Por abandolao, 90 BPM. 
you realize that all these tempi are related to each other, right? They are proportional somehow. But my playing, my execution speed was exactly the same in the three cases. I played at the same speed, but not at the same tempo, because in each context, the tempo was different. This is a very interesting thing, and this is what sometimes allows you to switch within a baile, for example, from one palo, one compass to another, from buleria to tango, or tango to buleria, or even sometimes from fandango to Syria. Anything can happen when we understand the mechanics. But we'll talk about that another day. If I play alone and there are no palmas, there is no cajon, and there is no tito, how can you know in which palo I am playing, on which compass I am playing? This is where what I call the fillers come in. You notice that after each phrase I played like a small fragment of compass. So this is what the filler is. This is a fragment of compass to fill in at the end of a melodic phrase. And we do this all the time in flamenco. They are like punctuations, like little answers at the end of a melodic phrase. And their purpose is to maintain the groove, the compass going. In the intro of this video, I played the phrases but without any fillers. That's why it was impossible for you to determine a specific compass or a specific palo. Each type of compass has its specific fillers. For example, in a normal compass de tango, I just take the end of the sequence and I use it at the end of my melodic phrase. This is por buleria. And this is por abandolao. With this system, you understand that you can use material from one palo in another palo, in one type of compass, in another type of compass. You can recycle your material. This falsetta, I can play it por tango, por buleria, por abandolao por tanguillo, and I'm sure I can play it for other palos, but I haven't tried everything. And again, you can do exactly the same with your footwork. Let's practice a bit. We can practice each option separately with el tito, tangos, 4 beats, 120. Un, dos, tres, y. Tico ta, tico ta, tico ta, tico ta, ta. Tico ta, ta, tico ta, tico ta, tico ta, tico ta, ta. Tico ta, tico ta, tico ta, tico ta, ta. Tico ta tico ta tico ta tico ta ta palma. Tico ta tico ta tico ta tico ta ta. Tico ta tico ta tico ta tico ta ta. Tico ta tico ta tico ta tico ta ta. Tico ta tico ta tico ta tico ta ta. Buleria six beats one eighty. Tum ta ka tum pa pa. Tum ta ka ta ta ta. Tico ta tico ta tico ta tico ta ta. Tico ta tico ta tico ta tico ta ta. Tico ta tico ta tico ta tico ta ta. Tico ta tico ta tico ta tico ta ta. Palma. Tico ta tico ta tico ta tico ta ta. Tico ta tico ta tico ta tico ta ta. Tico ta tico ta tico ta tico ta ta. Tico ta tico ta tico ta tico ta ta. Abandonado. 3 beats, 90 BPM. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Tico ta tico ta tico ta tico ta ta. Preampa. Tico ta tico ta tico ta tico ta ta. Preampa. Tico ta tico ta tico ta tico ta ta. Preampa. Tico ta tico ta tico ta tico ta ti. Tico ta ta. But you can also practice this without stopping, changing the context with your palmas without stopping singing the phrase. In this case, if you want to use el tito, you can only use it on the first beat of each cycle, on beat one, because this is the only common beat to all the options we covered. It's very interesting, but it's difficult, because it makes a pulse that is very slow at the ground level. I explained the concept of the ground level in another video too. El tito, 30 BPM, flat pulsation. That's very slow, right? So let's start with tango, pulería, abandolao. Tico ta, tico ta, tico ta, tico ta ta. 
Ticuta, 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 ta. Change. Ticuta, 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 ta. Ticuta, 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 ta. Change. Ticuta, 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 ta. Ticuta, 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 ta. That's not easy, but it's very good exercise. You can try to do it without a metronome and just switching from tango to buleria to tango to buleria. It's easier. Be careful here. The goal is to keep the rhythmic phrase you sing very steady, very stable, and to manage the uh, context changes with the palmas in a very smooth way. Tikota, 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 ta. 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 And you can practice the same thing with your footwork and with your guitar. So why is it so important? Firstly, because it's always good to know what you are doing. Because for me, it's a way to better control what I'm doing, to be clearer, to be more precise, to be more solid rhythmically. But it's also a great tool for creativity. We can try more things, we can experiment with the material, with the construction blocks, with the Lego, without having to wait for the divine inspiration that could come or not. And last, because it is very important when you want to clearly communicate with the others, with the other musicians, with the singer, with the dancer, with anybody. Sometimes it's just as simple as giving a count in when you will start anything. Un, dos, tres, in. Ticota, 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 ta. Siete, ocho, nueve, diez, in. Ticota, 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 ta. With this, everyone understands and we can all start together. If you are rehearsing and you start a step or a falsetta like this out of nowhere, ticota, 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 ta, everyone will look at you like, okay. Remember, context, phrasing, counting, practice. And that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope it could help. If it helps, you can also help me by liking this video, sharing it, subscribing to the channel, leaving me a nice comment. You can also tell me in the comments what you want me to talk about in these videos. And also go and visit flamencomats.com where I explain my online classes, online courses, and my way of teaching flamenco. I see you there. Till then, don't forget, learn flamenco, make it fun, make it different, make it your own. Ticotas.